is Bounty Rush. What's good? Hello everyone, my name is AJ and welcome back to another episode of One Piece Bounty Rush gameplay video and finally I I have a chance to show my 5 star rate on Onigashima Uso and here's my thought about him he's very fun to play with I mean like if you manage to put the inflicted uh, sleep on your enemy and you can ignore the enemy inside the treasure and you can capture the flag uh, which is this I think it's fun to do <laughs> oh my god okay got a perfect dodge here so gonna use my skill to here and put sleep to this big mom a uh, good night <laughs> and thank you so much and yeah for sure his worst enemy is uh, film rate shang obviously and film rate uta uh, is kind of like worse also uh, other than that i think he's doing good with uh, others extreme character and i knew that uh, probably not many of you guys will love uh, him uh, because he does not um, have the types uh, I mean like uh, his attack stat does not good enough uh, I mean Cavendish really I think it's better choice if you are looking for uh, killing the opponents but for Uso yeah look at it two big mom <laughs> have been put into the sleep so I gotta get I have to avoid that first since I saw that king so he tried to get a perfect dodge here I kind of did they look at my HP so but I believe I will get our team boost ready soon okay got a perfect dodge here gonna put this big mom into a sleep mode <laughs> and then gonna capture the flags here and I think that's what makes him so fun to play um yeah i mean like red i mean like red onigashima nami is the one of the fun uh, attacker but for red onigashima uso uh, he's so fun look at it i'm handling two big mom at the same time i mean like three big mom at the same time to be honest with you guys so i'm gonna use my skill too and gonna look for opportunity to put the other big mom with sleep <laughs> Midoriboshi <laughs> Okay, gonna bait this big mom to use her skill first Gonna use my g sleep gas again <laughs> Okay, my teams are doing very well, but um, Okay, I will talk about her his uh, read on on Digashima Usopp disadvantage I will tell you later maybe on the second match so gonna put this king first into a sleep mode and thanks and that's how we win this game with 9k bro <laughs> with no kill only two capture flags <laughs> all right guys on to our second match at water 7 stage uh i'm gonna talk about uh raid on onigishima usopp disadvantage what his lack is a trait the traits like marco where Marco can get the defense buff whenever he captured the flag if I'm not mistaken something like that but with Usopp he does not have that uh, that uh, trait so that's why I love to use um, Usohachi medals which is whenever he knock back the, the opponent the enemy he got the 3% of recover HP which is very very useful and gonna use my Midori Bushi to kill this uh, king and since Usopp trade whenever he managed to inflict the enemy with sleep he will get cooldown reduction of his skill too very quickly so that's one of the reason why I try to I, I love to use this metal set and for his third metal set I think I believe that um, God Usopp uh, medals or film rate uh, Usopp gonna be useful and gonna give him some advantages uh, too um, okay oh my god I've been hit by the Kaido so gonna capture this flex here while I can and I 
cannot believe that how can that Kaido manage to uh, prevent me from the cap from capturing the treasure uh, since I believe that whenever Usopp trying to capture the flag, he resists Dagger and cannot be down unless that attack have a knockback or have a status inflicted. So the enemy team got their team boost, so I'm gonna sneakily going to their respawn flag there with the unguarded flag here. Okay, nice. So this is my opportunity while they are taking the mid flag take over the mid flag so i saw that kaido using his skill nice got a perfect dodge here with 30 seconds just left is i guess is enough time for me to get these flags and gotta be careful against that um kaido skill here you know what it feels like playing uso is it feels like you playing a small fish in a big pond where you have a big fish in that pond <laughs> so with two seconds just left i believe we can uh, win this game with 6.7k score point and oh my god we got mvp nice too <laughs> all right guys on to our third match here okay we got wait on nikashima nami we have a new ex yamato and big mom and boa so gonna let this boa capture the flag first gonna put the middle of the bushy nice good night sweetheart <laughs> nice okay we got our enemy deflex here okay gotta be careful gotta put flex shots there so gonna let her capture the flag first middle of the bushy <laughs> oh nice <laughs> Skill 2! Okay, we knock back, so I got some mid. Not gonna let her to keep to recovery some HP there. Okay, luckily. Okay, Midori Bushi! Nice! Okay, we got a Big Mom here. Alright. Okay. So we got King, okay, being, oh, I've been inflicted with Tremor here. So I saw that Yamato, so gonna let him capture the flag first. Midori Bushi! <laughs> Sento! <laughs> nice, so we got our team boost ready soon. Okay, got some HP recovery here. And we got two Yamato. Oh my god. Uh, I think this is gonna be the end for me. Okay. Ah, this is the end. <laughs> okay, we gotta respond back as uh, Usopp's here. So I planning. I believe that Big Mom gonna fill up the the treasure gauge. Okay, this is the best time to put this Big Mom into a sleep mode. Gonna try to beat her. So uh, he's, he, she's already using the dodge. Okay, gotta put uh, he, her into a sleep, and she in the treasure area, so I can get the capturing speed here. So from my experience playing uh, with on Gishima also, I think he's better to stay away from your allies uh, because sometimes your allies will ruin your sleep gas mode. Uh, and you will be not able to capturing the flags as we all knew that runner always get a lower score point uh, so to be benefit i think the best way to play him is to stay away or try to move a solo by by yourself into the enemy fortress especially if there is a big mom who guide their respawn flags and otherwise try to enjoy it try to to get the experience and on how to cast your skill one so nice we managed to get our c flag the mid flag here so i'm trying to decide to, i'm decided to help our king here let me use my skill too okay nice we managed to knock back him so i saw this frankie so gonna 
top and try to put some damage. Uh, gonna let him capture the flag first. Okay. Uh, but we managed to put the big mom into a sleep mode while King managed to took care of her. So waiting for my Midori Bushi skill to come back here. Midori Bushi, nice. Gonna capture as fast as I could. Okay, <laughs> look at it, Frankie does not know and do, cannot do anything here. <laughs> and nice Luffy for <laughs> taking him out. <laughs> So I gotta be careful against Uta. I think I believe against the Onigashi Mazoro I can do it very well with my sleep gas mode here. Okay, gonna wait for the perfect time here. Okay, got a perfect dash here. Gonna put this Frankie into a sleep mode. Gonna capture this flag as fast as I could. Okay. Damn, Naizu! We managed to cut that Zoro, and unfortunately, this Frankie managed to capture, recapture their flight back. But that that does not took too long for me to recapture it back. <laughs> okay, Mr. Nabushi, Naizu, one punch. All right, okay. Uh, we one minute left. Okay, I saw this Yamato. Uh, there's no chance for me to survive and to defend that flag very well. Okay, uh, one of our allies have been killed. Gotta be careful. Okay. Oh, what Zoro? All right. Midori Bushi. Sento. Okay, there's an opportunity to capture the flags here. Okay, nice. Alright, Konoyaro. So, with 10 seconds just left, gonna stop this Frankie. Midori Bushi! Sendo! Okay, guys, I think that's it for Raid on the Gashima Usopp gameplay, level 87, I believe. So, with that, I'll see you next time in another episode of One Piece Bomb Trash gameplay video. So, see ya. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye.